In this quick video, I'm going to show you a brand new tool found in Photoshop Touch. It's called the Show Pointer tool. Uh, it's an interesting tool. You won't find it in uh, regular Photoshop, quite honestly, because there's no need to have it in there. Photoshop is a mouse-based, computer-based system, a piece of software, so you really don't need it. But once Adobe made Photoshop Touch, uh, there had to be a way to, to manipulate the pointer on a touch screen, you know, it, I guess I would relate it to the, the left left cl button click, right button click idea. Um, once you see it, you'll, you'll understand kind of what I'm talking about. What, so we've got touch open. You're gonna see my hands in this one. I'm gonna actually open up a picture that I use quite often in the book. It's that picture of the moon. We're actually gonna mess around with the clone stamp because that's the best example of how I could show you what the show, show pointer tool does. Um, I need to turn it on. So I'm going to go over to the, the pencil or the edit menu, and I'm going to turn on show pointer. And what you see in front of you is a crosshair, and then you've got a bigger kind of white circle with a blue, blue pointer button on it. And what this allows you to do is move your cursor by touching, by grabbing the white circle with the pointer in it. And the whole idea behind this tool is it, it allows you to create finer selections you can put the pointer exactly where you want if you're you're like me i'll show you my hand you're like me you've got some fat fingers sometimes when you're working with your hand you tend to lose the pointer if you're just moving the pointer right underneath your finger and you need a little bit a little bit more uh, finer tune adjustments this is a great tool to use so i'm going to go ahead and show you how this works i'm in i'm in the uh, the clone stamp so make sure you're in clone stamp and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to clone the moon real quickly using the show pointer uh, I know clone stamp comes down the road, but I've got my source on. I'm going to select my source. So I'm going to put my pointer right over the middle of the moon. You'll notice when I have my finger down, the uh, you see another button on the left side, which looks like a button click is what it looks like. So and that's exactly what it is. So if I have my finger on the show pointer, it appears. And when I take it off, it goes away. So I'm going to put it on there. I'm going to put it on the moon. And I'm going to select with my other finger a click. And what that does, and again, this is more of a function of the clone stamp, but what that does is it just set my source right inside the moon. And I'm, I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick that up or not, but you got a circle with a hash mark in it. So again, this is more on the show pointer, less on the clone stamp, but let's say I want to put another moon out here. And now what I'm going to do is you'll look at, you'll look at my uh, paintbrush. It, it's working exactly like the paintbrush did. The only difference is the pointer is offset from my finger. So now what I'm going to do is actually push down on the button and start painting. Okay, so again, this my left finger reacts like a uh, almost a, a left button push on a on a uh, a traditional mouse, and I go ahead and paint, and the minute I let go, you'll notice that nothing happens, right? But so I've got to push down and I start painting again. And again, you get the idea of show pointer. The idea is that when you need a defined motion, you need to be able to see the pointer exactly where it is. You can use a show pointer tool to be able to do that. And there's other functionalities other than the clone stamp uh, that you can use this on.